Hi and welcome at Spieleabend TV. Normally we are doing our Let's Plays in German language, so this is our first uh, Let's Play in English language. So have a bit of patience with us and sorry for some mistakes at first, but I think we can make it. So if you have some issues with the pronunciation or if some words might not be correct, please don't kill us. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what did you did we bring for you today? Uh, we have Woods of Tanaris, Palm mm -hmm. to Lose Laria. This yes. is a very new game mm -hmm. um, made by uh, Adelos, which is uh, also a quite new uh, publisher, mm -hmm. you could say. Yes. Um, and we played that game at the game fair in Essen. Mm -hmm. This year, this year. 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we start to explain the game, I think I want to pick you up and um, a little bit of history, a little bit of mystery and what is the game about? Deep in the forests of Tanaris lies Luslaria, the realm of the elves. Here the noble warriors protect their plants, animals and mystical creatures and enjoy the blaze of color and beauty. If you want to play with them, you have to remember exactly where you found them. And this is where we start. Because the game, Woods of Tanaris, is a bit a mixture of different game styles, but the main game included in this game is the classical memory. I think you all know memory. Um, <laughs> simply remember yeah. where which card is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So let's come to the cards. Mm -hmm. The cards themselves are Actually, uh, they have a very pretty uh, coloring and stuff, and very nice um, uh, pictures on them and stuff. So it's really, really nice. Um, each of the cards has um, a number, mm -hmm. and uh, here, for example, you have number one. Um, we have twenty cards uh, for each of the uh, sigils, so to say. So, for example, here I have uh, a deer. Um, Roman there has a tree, mm -hmm. the white tree, silver um, tree, yeah. silver tree, and um, in each deck you will find twenty cards, so from one to ten, two times. Mm -hmm. So here you have the order of the cards. Um, as uh, Andy already mentioned, you have uh, the numbers. But also every number has its own unique um, picture on it. Mm -hmm. um, we have the berries, we have mushrooms, fruits, a rabbit, a squirrel, a deer, a wood elf, um, a unicorn. How to say that? How about an elven warrior? Well, yeah, why not? And this is an elven archer. Yeah. Okay. So what else do you have on your um, on your card? Um, you also see. Um, on a very small um, image right here, what is the next card? So you maybe, I, I hope you can uh, see it in the camera image um, actually. Um, here you have uh, the image from this, here you have the image from this and so on. Um, but there are also special symbols that leads to special actions. Um, what they are exactly um, and what they um, um, kind of start, which action, uh, we will tell you later. Mm -hmm. So that's that's uh, these these things over there. So mm -hmm. yes, that's it, right. Sorry, I, I just described <laughs> it, but I didn't uh, point it to it. So sorry. That's okay. Okay, so memory. This is normal. Your deck. Your deck consists of um, of pairs of cards, and you have uh, ten positions in your deck. Um, on the first turn, you're allowed to look up two decks. You can also um, change the order from the cards. So maybe it does not make sense to have a ten on top of it when you cannot even um, when you do not even when you are not even able to start. Mm -hmm. So you're allowed to look to your deck, change the order if you want. And then you can put it back. If you find number one, you have to start right in the middle. And then kind of the game begins. But there's also one special thing. 
Um, simply imagine Andy just put up this card here. And I know exactly on this position I have the card with the number 2. I don't know if it is. No, it's a 7, but no matter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Preparation is everything. Preparation is everything, <laughs> yeah. Fatal number one. Of course, uh, here, here I have it. Fail early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I know for sure I have here a card with the number two, then I'm allowed to stop the game telling very loud, I know it! And place the card right here. But the it's it's still uncovered. It's, it's still... Um Hidden yes. and not not yet uncovered. So uh, first yes. of all, this is this is uh, what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Many people, I mean, uh, we are playing with up to four people mm -hmm. um, or players, um, can do that at the same time, and yes. only only the one who did it first yes. will get the chance to uncover the card. Yes. So be a bit carefully and just imagine three people yelling, "I know it." And put the cards right in the middle, and uh, we don't want uh, broken fingers. Um, <laughs> Happens. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. And then, if it is a number two, then you basically uncover it um, mm -hmm. and place it on top of it. Yes. And then the same the same game begins again. Yeah. It can be that now other people are yelling, or your, yourself. You yes. Know, right. Now imagine the following. I think I know that here I've got number three. Mm -hmm. I say, I know it! And place the card right here, uncover it, and... <laughs> <laughs> it is number three! And it is number three! <laughs> now imagine I also know that here is number four. I scream, I know it! No, so... That's <laughs> it's <funny. laughs> It never happens in it the game. Never, and it, uh, <laughs> but it always happens when he explains it. It's very nice. <laughs> Okay, so I am sure that here is my number five, and I say, I know it! Place the card, uncover it, and oh! It's not. It's not. In that case, I will give him one of my cards, and he yes. has to put his card back. He can choose where to put mm -hmm. his card on, but I can choose the player from whom I get the card. Yep. So imagine if we are playing... Um, with, with four players, so I can choose uh, between um, this box, this knight, and Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then I can say, okay, Andy only has uh, three cards left. Mm -hmm. um, hmm, the I don't want him to ten. give me one. <laughs> yes, so I can choose. Yeah. Okay, so what are the other special options? I think. Here we got one. Yeah, so as we said already, uh, number one has to be placed directly in the middle mm -hmm. of, the, of the table. This is a new uh, discard deck, so to say, mm -hmm. where we, we collect uh, the numbers. Um, number three has this uh, special ability, which says that um, the one who played it um, can give one of his cards to an, an, another player. Mm -hmm. He can choose whom, and he can also choose uh, where to put the card. And exactly. also which card, so to say, mm -hmm. uh, without looking at it. It's yes. also mm -hmm. important without looking at the card. Hopefully you know what it is and then uh, <laughs> you get rid of all your tens or something. Yeah, something like this. <laughs> the next card with a special ability is the five. Mm -hmm. If we play this card, you can choose a player and shuffle four cards. You can take four cards from his deck, but only the first card from a deck, so you cannot choose this two and this two and shuffle so, them. So the top cards, so to say. The yes, yes. Ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. So this, this, and this, and this, mm -hmm. then shuffle. And put it right there. And you also cannot make um, a new deck. <clears throat> you can, of course, yes. create or fill up the, the holes that you already created, so mm -hmm. to say. In yes. order to, to give him more that he, where he doesn't know what's, what's beneath. Yes. But you, you cannot put two cards right here. Right. So they have to be placed uh, in On different, four different positions. Four different mm -hmm. um, decks. Yeah. Yes. The, um, also a very interesting or very um, important thing is um, as you are always allowed 
with your I look at the card ability thingy mm -hmm. um, to look at the whole the whole uh, deck in that mm -hmm. case that yes. you have there. Um, it is of of course a good idea to really use the space mm -hmm. and uh, place uh, single cards there. Uh, for and hopefully to remember which symbol and which number is on which card. In, hopefully, in your case, it's mm -hmm. better if it's if it's yes. if it's less. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, decks, so to mm -hmm. say. Um, in my case, if I want to, well, if I want to have an, an, an um, 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 a benefit from mm -hmm. that, yes, <laughs> um, I would I would try to create a, a lot of smaller pieces where you don't mm -hmm. know what uh, what cards are there. Exactly. So that was number five, and then we have number seven. Mm -hmm. Number seven means I can. Uh, get rid of m one of my uh, decks mm -hmm. and uh, just exchange it with the mm -hmm. one of another player. Yes. In this case, you do not have to pay attention to the number of cards. For example, if you have um, a card deck consisting of uh, three cards, you can exchange it with one of mine consisting only by one card. Mm -hmm. Consisting of, sorry. <laughs> and then one last special card is left the number, number 10. 10 but this card influences every player because every player is allowed to look up one card not a deck only the top card mm -hmm. yes and okay actually so that is should be it <coughs> if we if you did not explain something all right already, then you will see it in the game. You will see it when we play it now. Right. So I take the deer, mm -hmm. take and I take the silver tree. Okay. Reminds me a bit to Gondor. Yeah, I also thought so. <laughs> no, I think you thought about House Baratheon. <laughs> yeah, of course, for that one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> And remember, in the first turn, you're allowed to look up two card decks. Okay. All right. Um, in the game, there is no um, uh, start player marker or something. Uh, so we just use one of these uh, coins. nice coins yes. that I have. So, try. So I'm starting. <coughs> I need an excuse if I lose. <laughs> okay, um, then let's check. Oh, one! Hmm. And another one. Ah, one! Ah, you have to look too. <laughs> By the way, you did that? I did. Okay, so it's on me again. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And I give you this card. Mm -hmm. And I forgot about what I have un under that. <laughs> so it's it's really important to try to remember. You 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 think the whole time about <coughs> tactics, and uh, you look what is my opponent doing, mm -hmm. and then. Ah, what was that yeah. card again? Yeah. Ah. Especially as uh, we are playing with, um, yeah, as two players now, um, it's a very tactical uh, game. Yes. With three and four, it's more chaotic. There are more intrusion from the other players and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's it gets more more interesting. More interesting, but because still, there's a, a factor of um, chaos in it. Of course, but still, um, it's a very good game, also mm -hmm. with two players. Yes. Okay, so now it's my turn. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting, 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 interesting. 
Oh dear. So now all the ones are released to the game. Yeah, we just have to figure out where the other cards are. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. <clears throat> okay. Alright, two. I think I know it. Oh, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess you don't have to choose uh, who gives you a card. I guess the same. Well, in that case, yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's your turn because uh, mm -hmm. it was your, it was mine, and then you did have your so uh, special action. I try it again. I think I know it. <laughs> <clears throat> I have to be faster, actually. But I have to give you a card. Yes. No, not this one, this one. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I was never good at memory, that's the reason why, why I'm so not, happy. Not, not very often use mm. um, that uh, ah, okay. that I know it thingy. Mm -hmm. But you can win either way, depending on how you play. You did your... Uh, yes. Okay, so your turn is, is over. Okay. No. <laughs> now you can shuffle. Ah. Yes, and I also think I know it. But first of all, I will... And I know it's six. It's going to be a <laughs> devastating lose for me. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Last one was closer. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Ah, I have to shut mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Yay! Did you just know what you have and... Uh... <laughs> Not my game. Not my game today. <laughs> well, it was a better game for you when we played with uh, Tim. Yes. Uh, good time. It was a bit closer. Oh, I can place a card. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, but you should also do... Use the special ability, otherwise... Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, he's, he's about to... I have no idea why he did that. Okay, yeah, right. So he's about to lose, but he's not using his special abilities. He should do that. Man. Oh, interesting. Just fitting here. Mm -hmm. And then I can exchange that. No, I can exchange that with this one. Mm -hmm. And this, but now I can give you one card and I'll put this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now turn. Interesting. So... Mm -hmm. Before you, before you say I know it, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have an idea. I place this one, okay, so I can shuffle, and I play also this one. But okay. first, I, let's take this one, this one, this one, and this one. No, it doesn't matter. I didn't have an idea anyway. Okay. But now it takes me more time to actually look them up because mm -hmm. I have to look them up each at once, so to say. Yes. So then I look here. Interesting. Okay. Mm hmm. I don't change. 
Ah, you have to. Mm -hmm. I change <laughs> this so, one. So first the special abilities have to be used and then mm -hmm. you can do the rest. I choose this one. <laughs> Take this one. And now I trust you and say I know it. <laughs> it's, the, ah! it's, the, it's the wrong deck. 50-50. 50-50 actually. So yeah, I think maybe do you want me to give maybe you want to give me a car? Sure. This one. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. It's my turn. I know <laughs> it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we can look up a card. And take this okay. One. Mm -hmm. I know it. The problem is I don't have a clue. Okay, so let's maybe take... By the way, in that case you didn't have to, to say I know it, because you okay. uncovered it and then... Mm -hmm. Well, that's quite fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can look at uh, mm -hmm. another card. Interesting, okay. Okay, I placed this one here and now I can exchange. And I think I take this one. And I give you this one. Mm -hmm. I still have, don't have a clue what I have. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I should have said I know it because I knew it. <laughs> now you can look up a card. Mm -hmm. I know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the good thing is now I have two different sigils there. Uh, uh, by the way, I know it. Mm -hmm. I think now it's my turn. <sighs> Interesting. Now I have to play a bit tactical. <laughs> At least that's what he's saying. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Now I'm playing this card and I'm changing this one with this one. I, th I, I don't know if I made it right. I don't know. Um, Let me check. Okay. <laughs> so I'll, I'm going to lose. <laughs> yes. Because um, oh, I know it. <laughs> Let me guess. That's the eight. Oh, how do you know? <laughs> and I know it. Oh. You want to know? This is the nine. <laughs> Just lose by one card. Do you remember how I started? <laughs> Everything here was full. Yeah, everything. And now only one yeah. card is left. And it was my mistake actually that I changed this card. Yeah. You you know what I'm uh, okay, let's say it that way. There are two ways um, to get out of that trap. For me there were two ways. For you now, of course, you, you made it yourself. 50-50. So, it so was a 50-50 chance. If you if you end up having only a 10 and your opponent has still some cards, then what you could do is, you could yell, I know it. You could yell, I know it, place the card somewhere where it doesn't fit and you know it doesn't fit, then you will get a card from him, which yes. could help you get rid of that 10, mm -hmm. hopefully. But this hopefully. is really, it's mm -hmm. just a trick. Yes. Okay. But it's, it's a very nice game. Um, mm -hmm. I think also that round was quite good. Yes. The ending was not good for me, actually, <laughs> but it was okay. It was very close. It was very, very close. I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, believe that at the very beginning yeah. because you already ha had placed, I think, maybe maybe yeah. about six or eight cards were already placed and sure, I was still but, sitting here. But you, yes. you exchanged mm -hmm. and you shuffled quite a lot um, mm -hmm. and you yes. also used yes. this one then. So mm -hmm. it was really... Uh, you, you turned the game nearly. Mm -hmm. 
It was close. It was close. And then you turned it back when <laughs> I was about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very, very interesting how you can place the classical memory inside of a new game sure. and make a quite challenging game out of it. Hmm. Because it's, it's, it's actually very challenging. Um, you have to play tactical and you... <laughs> You have to remember your cards, of course. <laughs> but then your, your opponent comes, shuffles it, and then you say, thank you. <clears throat> All right. What I also like very much is the illustration, because um, every illustration is unique. That's, that's really very cool, and I think uh, the designer did quite a good job. Um, I hope you like the game, and um, it will be placed on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And um, let's hope for a good pledge for them. Yep. So. And fingers are crossed, yes. Thanks for the very nice game. Then yes, thank you. Thank you for your time and see you next time. See you. Bye. Bye.